Hello, my name is Michael Garcia and to continue from our last video I'm going to talk about the TMD file format. Um, so the TMD file format would have been designed and engineered around the late 1993, early 1994 and at that time FIGS, Programmers Hierarchical Interactive Graphic System would have been I guess a reference point, it even had an ANSI ANSI group at, at the time um, so uh, it's it, it was an interesting language I guess it's very practical it was mostly I think a Unix thing um, but it was also referenced in textbooks at the time uh, the text that I had in the late 90s was computer graphics the C version second edition by Hearn and Baker and um, it was yeah it was referenced even in the late 90s so um, but yeah it died off because of OpenGL pretty much and then DirectX um, but yeah it was um, I think there's a bit of this in Eurozy I guess they would have used it um, another thing as well is the um, that I want to talk about I guess before getting into the, the format is the PLY format now this this was initially released in 94 which to me suggests it it came after the Net Eurozy or the the PlayStation I should say the PlayStation TMD file format um, it's the PLY format is is referenced in the Sony docs and they have their own file format that's actually called the PLY and it's structured similarly in that um, it first has an element uh, it first mentions the the number of elements and then it proceeds so in, in this case there's um, 12 and then there would be 12 listed um, Sony's proprietary PLY format is very similar to this although it's they're different formats um, but yeah I thought that was interesting so to go th I'm just going to go through the the net Eurozy doc um, so this is this is the document that we got um, so yeah not all file formats are mentioned so the 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 TOD the TOD is a uh, format that um, it's kind of hard to describe it's uh, it's it's an animation format which uses TMD files um, and it arranges them it, it's pretty much like an animation format um, based on hierarchical systems the VDF format is um, similar to a, a morphing a, 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 it's yeah a, it's a morphing format uh, where it's uh, where it, it, it has um, keyframes and then it just interpolates to that to those keyframes uh, that's pretty much it um, yeah, so I'm going to continue. Um, so I won't be talking about the 2D format. Um, the TMD, the TMD format is is one of those things that um, uh, has a lot of gripe, I guess, because it really isn't a very optimized format. I think the d the goal of the TMD format, or, uh, including the the GS library the graphic system library or graphic services library um, the point of that was um, to, to, to make it easy to develop I guess that would have been its primary goal um, so I think it was designed with that in mind not not optimization but obviously you need optimization because you're working with um, with very limited hardware well, for, for now I guess but at the time it, it I guess that hardware would have been seen as very equivalent to a uh, workstation, I guess. So, yeah, anyway. Um, it, I guess it makes sense also because if you look at early 3D, 3D systems, and I'm talking like 3DO and Jaguar, you'll see, you know, the PlayStation just blows it out of the water in every regard. So optimization, I mean, considering optimization just wouldn't, wouldn't factor I guess very highly but then obviously yeah looking towards its the middle life and end of life obviously optimization counts 
but I'll continue. So the RS the RSD format is an intermediate format, um, so uh, it tries to be a primary format, um, but it's not. It's something that that um, um, tools generate a text file, um, which is the RSD format, um, and it, it's just easier creating a, a text file than a binary file, so that's why it's an intermediate file. Um, and then there's a tool that generates the TMD file from the RSD file. So every RSD file is a single 3D model, um, and this includes four types of files. The RSD file um, is pretty much the one that hangs them all together, so it just has a list of different files. Uh, the PLY, this is um, what I was talking about before, it pretty much describes um, all the the vertices, uh, the normals, um, pretty much the main part of it. Then the mat file it describes the the material, so your um, the colors, um, texture, that kind of thing. And then this group file is a grouping. So um, the document talks about if you have a steering wheel, then it groups those polygons to. Um, the steer the steering wheel grouping but I don't think it's I don't think it's used um, so I, I don't I, I haven't seen it being used anyway um, so yeah all these files are ASCII just text plain text um, so the RSD file is formatted in this way a set of files is used to describe a single yeah so they're just so all these files describe us one single object, 3D object. Um, so I just want to go through this really quickly. Um, so the the PLY um, the PLY is a 3D file format, but this file isn't that format. Yeah, so it, it's not it's not this format. <clears throat> it's its own thing. Um, so basically. Uh, like DirectX default. Yep, it's a left hand system where Z plus goes into the screen away from the viewer, but the Y plus goes down, not up. So that's the difference, that's the main difference. So it's like DirectX, it's a left hand system. Um, but you can rotate the X by 180 degrees um, and it will result, it will result in uh, OpenGL like coordinate system where Z plus goes towards and behind the screen and Y plus goes up and X forward still goes to the right so uh, what that says here is um, by rotating it um, the model or the actually if you rotate the camera um, you'll you'll get a similar coordinate system to OpenGL um, Okay, uh, so obverse of the, the polygon is defined as the plane for which the vertices of a polygon are described clockwise. So what this says is um, the obverse is front facing, which has to be counterclockwise, and the reverse is back facing, which is clockwise. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so this is the file format. Um, in the document, it describes the the structure of it. Um, so the first is the ID, and then the number of items. So here, the items are vertex, normal, and then the actual polygon, the triangles or the quads. Um, so yeah, this uses quads as well, optionally. Um, early, actually, early three three D hardware tended to use quads. I uh, know the 3DO uses quads uh, and to use triangles is it's a real pain in the ass to use triangles on the 3DO anyway um so continuing uh yeah so that's pretty much the the PLY format um so yeah the data length is just a number with of the the lines in that section 
Um, so yeah, triangles or quads, vertices and normals for the. So yeah, it, so this is how. Um, yeah, so yeah, a triangle polygon, the data, for a triangle po polygon, the data for the fourth vertex and and normal are assigned a value of zero. So yeah, so if if you use a triangle, the last value is a zero, pretty much. So this is the RSD ordering, um, which to me doesn't really make sense because it should be counterclockwise, but this looks like it's going clockwise. Um, this one does go counterclockwise. But yeah, um, yeah, it, 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 this is the, the correct, the, yeah, the, the correct ordering. Um, the straight lines are not supported in that Eurozy, and nor are the, nor are sprites. Um, so I think they just pretty much edited the official, uh, the pro, the pro document and left a few things here in the net Eurozy version, which, anyway, it, it, which, yeah, it, it got really confusing. I mean, you, you see sprites and you see lines in the document and then you try and use it and it's not working. Um, so there was a bit of confusion about that in the news group. Um, the mat file. Okay, so this is similar to the OBJ format, which is a pretty popular format still. Um, and that format has a material file called the MTL, um, which the OBJ file references to use um, well, material settings, so like, um, uh, like colors and and textures, that kind of thing. Um, so this is similar to that, um, not in format, but in principle, I guess. So it, this is the same, the same concept. Um, so you've got an ID, and then you've got, um, uh, I guess, a number of, of, a count of listings below. So that that there's ten, um, ten, and and all this describes something so um, so this is these are polygon numbers and then I'm not sure what the format is Garaud textured and then I, I don't um, uh, these letters mean something I just flat don't double-sided maybe yeah, don't know I know. Um, so yeah, the ID is that number of items is the number of lines. Uh, material descriptor specifies a polygon and describes material information on the polygon. Okay, yeah, uh, these are the primitive headers in the TMD. Uh, yeah, um, so the headers describe some information regarding the material. Um, it's a bit confusing in that regard. Um, some of the information regarding the material is in the header and in the um, um, the, the primitive, I guess. Um, okay, so yeah, double-faced polygons are not supported in the net erosing library, which I guess is a pain in the ass, but anyway, it's no big deal, I guess. Uh, the the grouping file, uh, grouping, grouping of polygons in the PL while file can be assigned a name. Thus, a group of polygons can be operated by the material editor and contain polygons can, and certain polygons can be accessed from the program. So this is where it tries to be its own file format, but I don't think this is used for anything really. Um, so we'll continue. Okay, so um, the RSD format is important to know because basically this RSD link utility generates the, tenu the TMD file based on the RSD file. So if you can optimize the RSD file, then o then obviously your TMD files will be more op optimized. Um, so yeah, the word here expanded. The professional kit is the expanded. The net Eurozy is not. These are extra RSD files and libgs features to support them. So, 
what that says there is that um, the professional kit had all these extra um, files that had extra features to that added extra features to the RSD file. I forget what they were. Um, I'm guessing some kind of uh, some kind of animation, maybe perhaps. I can't remember. But yeah, um, that's not here in, in the Net Eurasing library. Uh, the data in the TMD file is a set of graphics primitives, polygons, lines, etc. that make up a 3D object. A single TMD file can contain data for one or more object, 3D object. So the RSD file is strictly single a single object. The TMD file is, is multiple objects. Yeah, so the RSD also concatenates multiple RSD objects into a single TMD. Um, so that's important to know. You, you can't... I mean, you, you can have the different groupings in RSD, but there's no point. There's no point. Um, so the coordinate values. Um, this is also interesting to know. Um, the spatial coordinate value for each object is assigned 16-bit integer value ranging from so the, this is a short range um, assigned short 16-bit value which um, the RSD files the RSD files are set basically whatever the the editor uses and most likely they're floats actually I think they are the the, th the RSD format is floats um, so what the TMD ex expects is, uh, or converts it to, is a 16-bit, but it um, signed value. But it's not, it's not this. Um, it's explained below. It's a compressed, compressed scale into a signed 16-bit fixed point floats. Um, so that's the thing. It's a, it's a fixed point float. Um, anyway. So conversion from RSD into TMD involves converting and scaling vertex values as needed. So yeah, when you convert, when you use the RSD link, um, you, you can specify a scale. So what that means is it um, it uses that scale number to, I, I guess, compress or to shorten down the the integer value. So if you have a coordinate system that ranges to let's say a hundred. Um, the the scale value of ten will will shrink it down to to the tens. So it's, yeah. Um, so continue. So now we're getting into the structure of the TMD file. Basically, it's pretty it's pretty simple. You've got the header, the ob object table. The object table are different uh, TMDs. So when you see the document that says OBJ or object, it's pretty. You can safely assume it's a individual TMD file. Um, so it, yeah, it's just a table of TMD files, and then your primitives section, uh, which is the primitives are uh, polygons, so quads, triangles, and then you got your vertex, and then your normals. Um, I mean, the, the format is very flexible. It, it includes every aspect of the hardware. Obviously, with the Net Eurosi limitations of um, not including sprites and, and lines, that kind of thing. But apart from that, um, it's it's a pretty good all-in-one simple thing, I guess. Anyway, um, the header. So this is the the C struct of of the header. Um, so yeah. So TMD is made up of the header, object tables, one for each object. Uh, primitive tables, yep. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so number of objects is number of TMD files, pretty much. Um, okay, so here, when they say, um, so the flag, uh, basically it's a, um, it's a flag that just um, checks to see if the, um, if the TMD file is in um, real space and a real address a real address as in memory address or uh, yeah so you use when when you're loading a TMD 
in the PlayStation, you have to, in, the first thing you have to do is after loading it, you have to, you have to run this function. And what this function does is it, um, it, it converts the ad, the, the pointers. So the pointers are, um, all the, so every, every, so all these pointers here, um, all these pointers here, uh, when you load the file in, they're, they're referenced from the start of the file. Uh, and then you run this function and that converts what's stored in here into actual RAM, into actual RAM pointers. So you can, I guess it's a quick optimization thing. Um, anyway, um, so yeah, number of objects is the number of TMD files in, I mean, typically you normally deal with just a single, single 3D objects. Um, you, I think you can optimize, I think you can optimize um, and have multiple um, TMD files referencing the same, the same data as in the same normals and ver vertices. I think, I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, okay, so object table. The object table block is a table of structures holding pointer information indicating where the substance of each object is stored. Its structure is as shown below. So yeah, so these are all the different TMDs and yeah, th these pointers point to where all the, the primitives and the data is effectively. Um, so yeah, this is what I was talking about, the actual address. So that function has to be run and then it, it flips it. Um, okay, so the type of scaling factor. So yeah, this is what I was talking about before. The scaling factor is a sign along. Um, using this value, it's possible to return the scale value at the time of design. So at the time of design, like I said, if if it's using, um, if, if your CAD program is using um, uh, like, yeah, a, a space of a hundred, um, and then you pass it ten, it'll compress it down into the tens. Anyway, so the primitive. Um, this section isn't well explained. The primitives, inputs, the polygons, and then the outputs are the packets. Uh, the material groups. Each group is defined in the RSD mat format. Each polygon assigned to the same material is the RSD mat file is grouped. Each polygon assigned to the same material in the RSD is grouped as packet data. Okay, so this is wrong. I I assume that was the case, but I tested it and it's not correct. Um, so I assumed um, it because there's a there's a a length value and um, like a count for how many are in that, that certain material. Um, but it's, it's not, it's not, so there's only one packet per header. Um, so yeah. So here the, the dot, dot, dot in, implies that there's multiple packets here under this, um, this material or this, this definition. And I assumed it was um, like a context switching based on OpenGL, I guess, um, like a shader. So if you have a shader running to process a certain um, 3D element or object, uh, the less times you change that shader and you, you batch it, you batch process those 3D elements, then you get an optimization boost because changing the, the shader incurs um, some overhead and I assume that was the case with this but no um, uh, every every packet has to have and um, this this header so we'll get to that um, so again the straight line and the sprites are not included um, the GRD the gradation so th these are flag bytes I'm not familiar with with what they do. Um, I think it's something the TMD just kind of figures out. I assume I'm not 100%. 
Um, okay, so the uh, the len indicates the length in words of the packet data section. So this means uh, the I len. So this is the input. So the input is the primitive that the TMD generates. And then the O len is, it, it indicates the word length of the 2D drawing primitive that are generated by the intermediate processing. This means this is this is what gets put onto the um, onto the, the the packets, so the GPU can handle um, the the linked list of packets. Yeah, so the in length word, thirty two bit size, uh, the word yeah, a word is thirty two bit size of the data structs. See below of the polygon primitive. So yeah, the polygon as in the TMD primitive, the out length number of words inserted into the ordering table. That's it. The ordering table is what gets sent to the, the GPU. That's the linked list. Um, so that's that's kind of interesting um, it, how they did that. And I guess you could reverse engineer um, the, 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 the format and just bypass this whole TMD format and just roll your own I guess you could do that but yeah I, I think someone I think someone did um, I think it's possible to find okay so uh, below is a listing of data types that are used in packet data configuration i.e. the primitive the packet and the polygon type so what the following sections are uh, different structures that are used in the TMD, the rest of the TMD file. So the, it includes the vertex, the normal, and everything else, and colors and that kind of thing. So um, I, yeah, you can see the the struct format. So a vertex is, um, as the document explains, that they're sixteen bit shorts. They're signed but they're actual floating points the fixed point sorry they're fixed point floats no yes they're fixed point floats anyway um yeah so 16 yeah it, it's a bit confusing seeing integer there but you have to think of them as 16 bit fixed point uh, numbers not not anything else. Um, okay, so and the normals are the same. Um, so yeah, and this is where it explains uh, the format. So you've got sixteen bits. This is the the sign bit, and then you've got three bits for the the integer, the integral value, and then the twelve bits are your decimal. So every time you add one, you're just adding. I don't know, so that's half, quarter, I think that's how it works, quarter, sixteenth, no, quarter eighth, sixteenth, it's basically the, I think it's the binary, but just, just in reverse, so that would be, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, one, one out of, Ooh. one four th thousandths or something like that it basically it's it's small so yeah um, and the PlayStation um, the one the one um, that you see often is four thousand four thousand ninety six I think it was and uh, and that's here think pretty sure anyway um, so the vertex the vertex index ah so these are index yeah so the packet data comprise the pos position table so these are indexed um, and the, yeah so every time when you see when you see um, I, I think I think the, the structure so I'll just go down here. So here, when you see these um, vertex, these are positions. These are index. These are indexes to um, 
to the vertex which has three which was described up a, up, a, up here so that's what that says <clears throat> so these are index values to to these kind of structures um, yeah and the the UV coordinates text source uh, texture source space for each vertex um, okay so texture space is in pixel based on the texture page so uh, there's 32 texture pages from 0 to 31 uh, which is in VRAM um, which can be a pain in the ass I guess to deal with uh, anyway so 0 0 is top left using uh, same winding as quads okay so it I think that's that zigzag so um, it was right at the start of the, the document yeah so yeah I think that's how the the UV maps the UV coordinates work um, it's been a while since I I dealt with them anyway um, so let's continue um, so yeah the UV texture space okay um, next the texture page yeah so the texture page from 0 to, to 31 so that's your T page and then you've got these other flags the semi-transparent I don't think I've ever used the TPF oh uh, yeah so this is tell this tells uh, the hardware um, the the bit the, the bit size of each pixel um, and if if it's four or eight, it needs a plot a color lookup table, um, and it needs the CBA. Uh, so the CBA is just um, the x and the y value mashed up into into a single value. I think that's some kind of hash key, or it can it can un. I think it's some kind of compression into a single single value. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, yeah, so it looks like the CBA is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven bits. I think no, the CBA is thirty-two bits. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is the CBA here. So yeah, it's, it's so this is how they do it. Um, the X. So this is the address of the, the the color lookup chart, and it's used in a single number. So they pack the x and the y values into this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The first six bits are the x, and the rest are the y coordinate, which is a bit weird. But anyway, um, data packet configuration examples. Um, uh, the three vector, the three vertex polygon of the triangle with light source calculation. Um, yeah, okay. Um, bit configuration mode, mode value bit configuration. The shading. Okay, so this is where it, it says, yeah, the whether it's a texture specified. Um, okay, so it's pretty confusing, and the documents kind of, they do help, but there's a lot. There was a lot of confusion regarding what was supported and what's not because they copied and pasted from the from the professional documents. Which, yeah. Anyway, so. Um, Stuart, I think it's Stuart Ashley replied to one of these comments in the forums and and he replied 
Um, there's only 16 primitives that work in TMDs on the Yaru, on the Yarosi, and he spec specifies the the two the triangles and the quads, and they're, they're pretty they're they're both exactly the same. So you have eight triang triangle materials or formats, and then you've got eight quads. Um, there are no lines and that kind of and sprite. So you got the flat, you got flat with textures, you've got garoud, garoud with textures, flat with no light, with no lighting, flat with texture and no lighting, garoud with no lighting, garoud with texture and no lighting. Um, I would have assumed that you'd have garoud with texture and lighting. Yeah, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. I always thought lighting was a. Uh, as long as it had the normal. But anyway, we'll get to that. Um, so these are the the different types of um, uh, polygons or packets. Um, as you can see, the, the head is there. Um, and then it just goes into each. Uh, so normals and vertices are indices for them. Yeah. Normals and vertices are indices for the normal and vertex table. Um, uh, okay, so the RGB uh, uh, actual color values mode two is just a representation of the mode data used as a filler. Okay. Um, so these are all the 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 different data. So basically, what the GS library does is it just it iterates through every everyone, every packet, and it doesn't matter if if you have these in order or not. Um, it, I mean, it, I guess it does because if if you have um if you have a flat and no texture, and then the next one is a garrod and and texture, then it's going to a different I don't know a different part of execution, and it, and it, it it probably has to do a cache swap or something like that that could be an issue but yeah generally you want to keep your your the same types of polygons together um so these are the different types um yeah uh, so basically the flat with the solid color no texture broad solid color no texture flat grid gr gradation so the gradation I'm not familiar with. No texture. Uh, the gradation I guess would be the light calculation because it's got the normal. I would assume, but no, the, the flats. Hmm. Hmm. Not a bit. Yeah. Solid color, no texture, gradation. Oh, okay, so gradation and garoud? No. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on the gradation. Uh, flat texture. The garoud, the garoud, so you, um, you can have color, The you can have a flat on the color. It actually looks, it's it's used often actually, um, like if, if you have a hit, flashes the the flat either red or white um, and that just changes the the texture to have that that background color um, obviously depending on its intensity um, the garrod is the individual vertices so you've got a color for every um, I think I can't see the RGB value here Yeah. So these are all. These are the quads. Yeah, these are the quads. No, these are poly. These are the triangles. Yeah. Because they've got three vertices and three normals. Um. Yeah. I, okay. So. Okay. So, Sorry, 
Okay, so this section describes um, the triangles with a light source calculation. So yeah, obviously they're going to have normals. Um, and then this section, again, triangle with no light source calculation. Um, yeah, so the group Garod here has the three RGBs. Uh, so this section is the four quads with light source calculations. And then, um, yeah, and then this section again, the four vertices with no light source calculations. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. The rest of the document is just what it doesn't include, um, and then it goes into yeah, two D graphics. Um, so I, I just quickly wanna wanna show. This was a um, a demo that was used. Um, it shows how to use um, a TMD file. Um, so what it's doing here, it's interpolating between um, pre-configured um, shapes, 3D shapes, and then it's just interpolating and then rendering. Uh, the emulator is kind of slowing down a bit because it's in a virtual machine and the recording is pretty crap. But anyway, um, so that's what it's doing. Um, I'll quickly go through the code. I thought it was interesting. Um, so, uh, I'll go through the main start there. Okay, so reset reset graph and then init init your screen. Um dis initialize the display buffer, initialize the 3D, so initialize this initializes the, the graphics service, the libgs stuff. Um, the projection, um, the load your font, um, set up the textures and TMD uh, we can quickly have a look oh, yeah so this just loads the TMD into into RAM uh, make the big quad make a TMD of textured quads without the light sourcing using a TMD as the texture assume TM already loaded into VRAM so yeah um, so this dynamically creates the TMD in in RAM, so it gets a start address, which is passed into the function, and then it just yeah you know, it it sets the header, um, and then it just pretty much goes through the um, through the, through the the file format like I just went through now, um, and it sets up it sets up the um, the pointers, um, yeah so. Um, all these, all these are just defined. So, yeah, th that's the reason why um, it's pr it's a pretty big format. It, it's massive, I think. Um, but this this was how how it was done back in the day, I guess. Anyway, um, so yeah, the a TMD is created and it's um, linked to to the team to the to the Tim as a texture, and then it's initialized okay so this is this is the function that that changes um, the the numbers into actual pointers um, and then the link the GS link object for if I remember correctly um, <coughs> um, it gets uh, I forget what it does it It links it to the OB, the OBG, the the GS object format, um, but it does something else in the background. I guess I can quickly look it up. Um. <coughs> Uh, 
No, that's all it does then. Okay, I thought it did something else. So yeah, basically just links. I think it, I thought it did something to the memory, but it doesn't. It, yeah, okay, so it assigns um, that TMD to the uh, to the object file, and then it links. I guess that's the other thing it does. It it maintains the hierarchy um, using using the cord to the value. Um, okay, so getting back to the main. I think I've lost the main. <coughs> okay, so um, <coughs> so here we store the actual address, and then it skips to the header, and then here we get. Um, the header and we get the the vertex top pointer and it's stored here um, okay so with so it, this is the main loop here we we get the active buffer and then get the active oh we set the active work base then we clear the order table um, this rotates and translates um, and we update we update the view according to that and then we set that view and then okay so here depending on the state it changes it changes so these are pre predefined vertices um, which define a, a shape so here is the cylinder shape, the torus shape. Um, so these are pre-configured, which means it would have been they would have the app, the application. So the CAD tool or three D, three DS Max or whatever they used, they would have spe they would have um, kept the same vertices. So I think they, I think they mentioned somewhere. Um, well, uh, yeah, it, it uses a grid. So they're making a grid here, and then basically they're populating that flat grid with um, that with these pre-configured, pre-assigned shapes. Um, so we'll go through that uh, really quickly. Um, change current vertices at vert to shoot to those given in the array of shape. So yeah, this is an array of shorts, and this is an array of uh, vertices. Uh, yeah, verts. So this is um, these are sixteen-bit signed fixed points of threes or fours, actually, with the pad. And these are just in th just an array of shorts. Um, so okay, so we're looping through the grid. And if so, yeah, we're looping through the grid and the grid height and width. So if if that vert, if the current vert is less than this, the first value of the shape, then it increments one. So here, when you add one, like I said, you're adding. I, don't, I can't remember the number. Um, something like point zero zero one. In, in aspects of, of the fixed point maths um, and then you get to the, the increment the shape so you go you move in you're moving to the next the next um, value which is the y value um, and then you ch you test the same for the y and then you either increment or you de-increment um, so for example if if this vert if this vert Y value is ten, for example, and this here is five, or it wouldn't be five. It'd be uh, I don't know. It'd be something like twenty-five. The the fixed the fixed point value. Um, so if four if four thousand ninety six is one, then let's say let's say it's one. If this is um, Five, 
then it would yeah it would increment it would increment so it would, it would be 4097 and then it would skip to the next uh, the next value which would be the Z of that of that primitive I guess and it would do the same thing and then skip to the next the next value which would be in the next in the next polygon um, this this is a bit silly this is very creative coding it shouldn't be done but if if you don't understand C or C++ well enough what that actually does is is this um, so it assigns it assigns um, what it just calculated into RAM where the point where the pointer is so I mean you don't need the brackets but I guess for readability and then and then what happens is the increment of that pointer uh, so and because the pointer is a um, a vert it goes to the next vert so it goes to the next vertices and then the loop starts again so because the shape is incremented because it's just uh, using values it's just numbers so these are just shorts whereas the the vert is this so it goes to the next one and then it the process repeats until until it's gone through the whole grid it's pretty simple it's it's clever but it, it looks all right um, and I can run it and it, we should get the same thing yeah so and it just cycles it just rotates and cycles through those different shapes while it's updating the RAM um, I mean this you could do you could do a lot with it I guess this is um morphing um, you could use a skeletal some kind of skeletal animation using the morphing technique um, uh, yeah and I think that's it that's pretty much it so yeah and then it, it draws the it draws the object which is just a standard um, drawing function so yeah it sets the the matrix and then adds it to the the ordering table um, and then does your syncing and then your swap buffers and then your sort clear and then you draw yeah and then you flush update the state uh, the rotation angle and then read your pa your pads for the exit and that's it very simple um, but yeah okay well if you've listened to me rant about the TMD format thank you um, if you have any questions I guess ask below um, I'm not sure what to do next um, but I'll probably go through the other demos there's some interesting demos here Anyway, thank you for listening. Have a good day. Bye-bye.